What's good, YouTube, man? I'm back with another video, bruh. Man, welcome to the channel, bruh. <laughs> welcome to the channel, man. So we all know Javante Davis versus Rolly Romero, man. It went down last night in the, at the Barclays Center in New York, man. That nigga Rolly got knocked the fuck out, bro. It was a good fight, bro. It was a good fight. You know, I want to say this, though. Respect to Rolly Romero, you know. He put up a good fight, you know what I'm saying? He controlled the distance pretty well, you know. He controlled the distance pretty well. He showed speed. Uh, He worked his jab enough to keep Tank on the outside. You know, he put on good pressure. It just the fundamental flaws, you know, with style, with his style. And, you know, just not having the experience, you know, you got to realize. The man, Roly, jumped up in competition. He's like, look at who he fought last and then look who he fought now. That's what I be saying. The main thing that people go wrong in sometimes is the jump up in competition. The sudden jump in competition. Now, some people can handle it and others can't. Sometimes you need that gradual build of competition. But, you know, first the first couple rounds, Roley did good. He he controlled the distance. He controlled, really, he controlled the pace of the fight. Pretty much he was winning the fight first two rounds. You know, Tank was trying to work his way inside as the fight would go on, like round three, four. But, you know, Roley did a good job. Uh, I think Roley showed fairly good defense, fairly good timing. He wasn't, he didn't look bad. I ain't going to lie, he didn't look bad. You know, the worst he looked was when he got knocked the fuck out. And that's just what it is, man. Roley isn't trash, you know. He got some room for improvement, but he isn't trash. But, you know, he went into the ropes. He pretty much just let Roly, you know, throw them wild shots, countering them, and then boom, that's all she wrote, bro. That's all she wrote. Them counters, man, is crazy, especially when you don't got your chin tucked. You got to keep that chin tucked, bro. But I'm going to give my intake on this fight. This is what I think, you know. You know, even though Roley was doing good throughout the fight, I think he did good. You know, he showed fairly good boxing skills for somebody who started at the age that he started in. But I'm going to say this. I think he put a lot of pressure on himself to get a first-round knockout. As we know, in life and in sports, any sport, it's more mental than it is physical, bro. You got to understand that. So... When you saying you're going to get a first-round knockout, oh, you saying, oh, Tank is easy to hit. He this, he that, you know. It's going to be an easy night. When you put yourself in a position where it's not an easy night as you thought it would be, that plays a factor, you know. That runs a, that runs in your mind like, okay, it's not as easy as I thought it would be, you know. So it's a different thing than what you thought, you know. It would be in your head, you know. In your head, you thought it would be something crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you thought it would be this, but then it's something completely different. Like, first round knockout, that didn't come. So, and you saw Tank jawing at him after the first round. Like, boy, you thought you was going to knock me out in the first round. What happened, bro? You know what I'm saying? You got to be realistic with yourself. You got to understand What's going on, bro? You got to understand your opponent's skill set. Tank is not easy to hit, and he found that out. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking that trash, and that's part of the reason why I felt like he left, because, you know, he talked. He he looked really stupid when he did not Tank out in the first round after he said it over and over and over again. And I feel sorry for the niggas who really bet their house on this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he talked all that shit to some. Keep bullying those 122 pounders. Like, yeah. And look at you now. <laughs> look at you now. You know what I'm saying? Keep bullying those 122 pounders. It's like, okay, nigga. Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> you the one that was getting off the canvas, though, bro. And there's nobody to blame but yourself. 
Like, he found out that it wasn't easy to hit Tank. It's Because it's not easy to hit him. He got good head movement. He know how to move. He know how to, you know, avoid punishment and stuff like that. I'm talking about something. He got beat up by uh, Cruz. But Cruz did way better than him. Leo Santa Cruz did way better than him. Everybody he was talking shit about that was smaller did better than him. You know what I'm saying? All them small people that he was seeing beat up Tank and all this other stuff, they did better than him. In my personal opinion. He was getting some good shots, but he wasn't. He didn't do better than Cruz. He didn't do better than Santa Cruz or any of them people that he said. You know, you talk about all them people, uh, you know, didn't, <laughs> didn't uh, Fonseca last long with him? And he's a 126-pounder, right? 126-pounder, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, once you trying to get a first-round knockout and it don't happen, it plays on your mind. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you in for something that's completely different. You know, you doing something that's completely different than what you thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? And you got to know what I'm talking about. You ever thought something was going to be easy, and then when you tried to do it, it's not as easy as you thought? Your confidence is going to go down a little bit. You know what I mean? Because he's easy to hit. Like, come on now. Either he was lying or, you know, he was just delusional and ignorant. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Tank pretty much got that man up out of there, bro. He got him up out of there. A lot of people saying it was a bad stoppage. But, man, when I see him go down and I see him roll over after he, uh, you know, Got off the ropes when he rolled over right before he was going to stand up. He looked like he didn't know where he was at. And I could see him moving his leg. I'm like, nah, this is over with. <laughs> it's over with. I said, even if he gets up, he he's he's in no condition to really fight. You know, fight off whatever attack. You got to think. When you fight in tank, you got to be have your 100% wits. Because if you own wobbly legs even a little bit, you're going to be on a scratcher getting out there, motherfucker. I ain't going to lie to you. So... He did not look like he was in good shape. I, I knew. I looked at his face like, this nigga don't even know where he at. I'm talking about before he even got up. When he rolled over, because he fell face first into the ropes, bro. When he rolled over off the ground, like, just to sit on his behind, I looked at him. Fa I looked at his face like, man, he's done. That man is done. Crucified. You know what I mean? He crucified. I saw him moving his legs. He barely got up, man. And I that wasn't even Tank Hardest punch either. He just ran into it, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. Good win for Tank, bro. That's all I got for right now, man. I'm out.